Hey everybody, back with another video. Uh, I was out today driving around and I went to a different Walmart than I, or not today, the other day. I went to a different Walmart than I usually go. I went to the card section, obviously nothing. So I went to the toy section because I know in Target, my local Target at least, uh, sometimes on end cap around where the Pokemon stuff is, they'll have Pokemon cards and they also put sports cards. And that's where I found, um, I hit the restock for Contenders and Absolute at my local Target. Thought I decided to do that for Walmart. Found nothing, struck out. So I circled around and was going towards the exit. And I passed the express line where you would buy tobacco. Like if you were going to buy cigarettes or stuff like that. And inside the little corral area where the cashier would stand, like far away from the register, but back in the corner, um, I noticed a bright green box. And I look and they had some gems of the game in there, uh, which I thought was interesting. I also saw um, either a blaster or hanger of some top baseball as well. And it's weird because on the so-called card section, there's almost nothing left. There was a tray that had a couple blasters of upper deck hockey, and that was it. Like, there was no sign of basketball, baseball, football, anything. Not even empty empty box trays. Uh, the whole section seems to be condensed. There's a lot of stuff for, like, little kitty toy things, uh, some magic and Pokemon cards, and the rest is, like, asking on TV. It seems like they've really consolidated the card section down to one little spot, and there's nothing in it. Um... So, I didn't even know if these were for sale. I saw them behind the tobacco counter in the corner. And so, I grabbed like a 20-ounce soda from the uh, cooler that was right next to it. And went through the line. I was like, hey. I asked the cashier. I was like, hey, there's some football cards over there in that corner. Are those for sale? And she was like, uh, sir, anything that's on a shelf, you can buy. I was like, well, no. It's, it's, in, it's on your side. Like, it's inside where you would be walking. It's back there in that corner. So she went and looked and she holds up one of these. She was like, one of these, is this what you're talking about? I was like, yeah. Is that for sale? She goes, yeah, sure. I was like, all right, can I get two of them? Um, I saw at least four or five, but I don't want to be one of those people that buys up an entire stock of something, even something like this. So I just grabbed two. Uh, I do plan to go back. And if I go back uh, maybe tomorrow or Monday and they're still there, then I'm going to buy some more. But I actually, the first two I opened on the channel, I bought off eBay for about 50 bucks a piece. These were just 20 got them at retail because I happened to find them in store. So I am so stoked. So we're going to open both of them in this video. Um, so if you don't know what these are, it's a repack product from, I believe, MJ Holdings. Oh, uh, yeah. MJ Holding, which is them and Fairfield are the two companies that do repacks. Um, I believe this is a Walmart exclusive. I've only ever seen them there. I'm not sure. But inside of this, you will get one graded card, an autograph or relic, and six factory seal packs. Usually it's three panini packs and then three leaf or sage, which are bottom barrel stuff. Um, not worth the cardstock is printed on. But the second box I opened, I got four panini packs and then just one leaf, one sage. So it's actually really cool. Um, so you don't know what you're you really going to get. Um, as far as the graded card, it says right here, it's a BCCG 9.0 or higher. Um, so on, on the card here, they're advertising like a BGS, BGS. BGS. That's not what you're going to expect. You're not going to get a BGS. It's going to be BCCG, and that gr a 10 grading for them doesn't really mean anything. Um, you, it's going to be a Sage card, most likely. And again, say the Sage cards aren't worth the card stock you're printed on. Even a graded one, you'd be lucky if you got more than like four or five bucks for it. And that's somebody who's only going to buy it because they really want whoever the player is. But like if you were to get a Joe Burrow, a Tua, or a Herbert that was graded like that, I mean, I guess it's, it'd be cool. It's still not worth much, um, but still cool. <laughs> So the card, the pictures of the boxes or the packs they show on here are like, you know, 2019 Illusions, 2019 Absolute, 2017 Leaf, but most likely you're still going to get 2020 Leaf. Um, but uh, yeah, so I have two of them. We're going to go ahead and open both of them and see if I can't get lucky. The first one of these I opened on the channel, it was a b real bust. I ended up getting two 2012 packs and a 2014 pack, I believe, and it was all mostly trash. Uh, the second one, I did get a Don pack of Donruss 2018. I pulled a, a Josh Allen, the rookies, out of it. So that was pretty cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with the graded card first. Oh, we did get a 10 this time. Again, it's Sage. All rookie. Jordan Love. Okay, so we got BCCG 2020 Sage All Rookie Team Jordan Love. Uh, again, you know, you, I feel like they're all, all of them so far I've seen are, are this all rookie team, I think, but at least we got a 10 this time. The first two were a nine. I think I had a Henry Ruggs and a CeeDee Lamb. 
But at least I haven't repeated. I know one person I read online, they bought four boxes and all got all four car, graded cards were the same. So at least we got a Jordan Love different than the ones that we've gotten before, which were CeeDee Lamb and Henry Ruggs. So we're going to pull each pack out. First pack starting. Oop. All right, yeah, so we have 2020 football premiere draft. High series of Sage. Again, trash usually. Here is our uh, relic or autograph card. And it's a relic. It is shirt off the back from 2011 certified Austin Pettis. Nice patch. Numbered 153 out of 250. And the corners are surprisingly not that bad. Considering that they don't put these in sleeves, top loaders, or anything. They're just uh, free-floating the box. And you never know. I mean, that corner is not that great. But surprisingly, this isn't that bad of a condition. So, not bad. So, first pack, Sage. Second pack, of course, 2020 Leaf. And hopefully, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll have four Panini packs. Like the second box I got. Or not necessarily Panini, but, you know, something else. But we have 2013 Tops Football. Only at Walmart, so I'm guessing this is probably a blaster pack or out of a mega or something. I'm not really sure. Regardless, 2013. Not what we're looking for. We're looking for 2016, 17, or 18. All of which you can get in these. We have a... There we go, 2018 Prism. See, there you go. This is probably... And it's already open. That's... Huh. That's, uh, yeah. Not sure how I feel about that. Hopefully the rookie card is still in there. We have a 2019 Contenders draft picks. Uh, and, oh, Sage 2020 football. So we did get, unfortunately... Three and three. We did hit a 2018. Still have not hit a 2017. My goal is to hit a 2017 Donruss or Optic and try to get a Mahomes. But uh, I mean, we hit an 18 Prism, which is awesome. I'm just not sure how I feel about the fact that the pack's open already. But you know, I don't know. It is what it is. Um, let's set those aside. We'll start off with the 2020 Sage Premier Draft. Uh, this is not good. These packs are pretty terrible. All right, we have Kenny Wilkes, Willick, Willicks, Willickus. I have no clue how to pronounce his name. Sorry, Kenny. We have Cole McDonald, five star Jonathan Taylor, next level Jerry Judy, Kenneth Murray, Ashton Davis, Akeem Davis Gaither, and next level KJ Hamler. Go ahead and do the 2020 Leaf. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that Prism pack being open. If the rookie card is still in there, then it's, you know, it's fine. Uh, that's what you're looking for in that anyway. But, yeah, that's, that's definitely worrisome. PC hit, Caleb on Chase on, LSU. That's awesome. Even though I don't really care for Leaf cards, it's still cool whenever you get one of somebody from your team. Michael Pittman Jr. A yellow Albert O, or I actually, it's Albert Okawebanom. Pretty cool name. Denzel Mims. And a flashback, Barry Sanders. Now, this is the first one of the, the premier draft that I've opened. I've opened uh, the other one, the first one I did in one of my previous boxes. But I've not had this specific high series pack uh, yet. And that did not open very well. We have Kyle Duggar, Henry Ruggs the third, with some insane abs. Jesus. Chase Claypool, Isaiah Hodgins, and Justin Jefferson. Nice. See, here's the problem with these. That's an LSU helmet, but they Photoshop out or airbrush out all the logos. So, even though it's a Justin Jefferson, and yet again, just like the Caleb on, it's one of my my guys. It's still kind of a bummer to hit. 
I guess we're going to save that prism for last because that's going to have possible the best possible chance at a hit, but I'm really worried about the fact that it's open. Uh, let's go ahead and start with this. 2013 Tops Football. We'll get 12 cards. Okay, come on. Maybe we'll get lucky and we can hit something great. Jonathan Stewart, Mike Tolbert, Malcolm Jenkins, Ryan Kerrigan, Bruce Irvin. We have a mini of Navarro Bowman. That's pretty cool. We have a Future Legends Tyler Eifert, rookie card. See the rookie card, that's cool. He was on my fantasy team one year. He killed it. We have a Ryan Matthews. We have a Justin Pugh rookie card for the Giants. Oh, and a regular base Tyler Eifert. So you have an insert Tyler Eifert and a base Tyler Eifert rookie card. Sharif Floyd and would you look at that? A Tim Tebow for the Jets. Yikes. All right, let's go with the 2019 Panini Contenders draft picks. There's the Greedy Williams autograph cards in here. I've... Oh, never mind. That was Prism. I'm trying to think. It was a rainbow I was con collecting with, I think, draft picks. I can't remember who it was, though. The 2019. Never mind, it was, another, it was Prism, because I've always thought the 2019 cards were kind of ugly. I think these are some of the ugliest looking cards that I've ever seen. They are just bad. But we have Keenan Allen, Bradley Chubb, Michael Thomas, and we got a hit. I wonder if you get a hit in every one of these. It's backwards. Ben, yep, yeah, we did get a hit. Ben Banigou, Banigou from TCU. You know, this is actually pretty funny because right in arm's arm's length. So a while back, I bought a pack. I bought something online and someone threw in a fat pack of 2019 uh, Prism Draft. And, you know, because it, it had your pack and then you had the extra bonus pack of like your pink parallels, just like how Prism comes in now. And I actually hit an auto out of that fat pack. And would you know who that auto was? Ben Banigou. <laughs> So I now have the Ben, I assume it's Banigou, uh, auto for 2019 Prism Draft and 2019 Contenders Draft. That's actually pretty funny. I'll sleeve it up, why not? It's, uh, huh, that's really interesting. That I've hit his auto twice. And this was just a, like a retail pack and a repack. And the other was a retail fat pack that was given to me for free when I, at a purchase of something. So yeah, ain't that something? That's actually kind of funny. I prefer the look of the prism more. But yeah, I just happen to have that within arm's reach. So that's kind of interesting. So hey, just like box two, this contender draft picks, uh, I'm not a fan of how they look. But this is the second pack I've gotten out of these gems of the game. And it's also the second hit. And what's left in the pack was a Melvin Gordon and Darius Leonard. See, I don't know with with uh, Contenders Draft if every card or every pack had a hit or not. I'm assuming no, because it's retail. But uh, that's actually really cool that I've... Two, two of those Contenders, now I've opened now, I've hit stuff out of. It's really cool. <sighs> Alright, this is the one that I... Should, four cards per pack. This feels very thick. Yeah, see, there's a lot more. Oh, no. Okay, so there is four cards in here. But as you can see, one of those is a thick boy. So we have a hit in here. So I'm going to... Yeah, okay, so BL, this is going to be a blaster pack. So blaster box, you know, usually you get an auto or a mem. So this would be the, the quote, hit pack um, out of a blaster because... Like I said, it says right here, four cards per pack. This seems very thick, but as you can see, it's open. You can see that thick card right there. That's going to be the hit. Focus. 
Yeah, you can see. So there is a hit in here. So there is that. That's somewhat exciting. Still worried about the fact that it's open. But, uh, yeah, the hit's going to be the second card. So these, car these wow, this looks really clean, though. I mean, this Deshaun Watson is just so shiny. There isn't, it looks brand new. There's not a flaw on this card. Except for right, that little scratch right there. Nope, that was just some dust. Wow, that's awesome. All right, so we're going to save that hit. We're going to pull from the back. We have an expired kid reporter. Don't care about that. All right, let's just go do this. Ooh, they're kind of stuck together. So we have a Doug Baldwin. Naeem Hines. And I screwed up. Uh, Naeem Hines, rookie. So we still had the rookie. And our hit is Mark Walton, Premier Jerseys. Yeah, this guy's been arrested a few times. This is not a uh, not exactly a good dude. This dude's kind of uh, a douche. If I do say so myself. But the card itself is gorgeous. I'm usually... I know people love Prism. I, I can take it or leave it. I'm not a giant Prism fan. But man, the shine this card has... And the light, like, this is actually a pretty gorgeous card. And I'm not even going to lie. This is Sean Watson, even though, you know, he's looking kind of like a douchebag too right now. Um, the card itself is gorgeous. So we didn't get it. No Baker, no Lamar, no uh, Josh Allen. But uh, I'm happy. The hit was, the pack might have been open, but I still got everything I was supposed to get in there. So not a total loss. So not a, we got a hit, you know, out of the contenders. You can't complain. Um, not such a great pack. We did get it. We get two hits technically. We got that Mark Walton uh, jersey as well. So n nothing to write at home about. But you know, it is repack product. So the fact that we got two two hits and your graded or three hits if you want to count this. So three hits and a graded card out of the one box. Not bad. So let's hope the second box brings us as much, if not more, luck than that. We'll start with the graded card again. Here's hoping we don't get the exact same card. Let's see. Oh, it's backwards. Nope, it's not. Jonathan Taylor, 9. Okay, so again, not a 10. But just like the other one, it is an all-rookie team. Round 2, pick 41, Jonathan Taylor. All right, four boxes, four different cards. I can't complain. No complaints. Now, let's go ahead and see if I can't pull out the bonus, the hit. Uh, it's looking like I'm not going to be able to find it. There it is. All right, we have Panthers. Oh, Keyshawn Johnson. 70 catches in 06, winning moments from SP. That's actually... Okay, that's actually really cool. The patch in the 70. Um, this one actually looks like it's in pretty decent condition as well. Uh, yeah, from 2007 SPX. It's cool. I'll dig it. Uh, sucks here what happened to his daughter. That's a bummer. Oh, there is some damage to the card. There's some here and here. But, you know, it's floating around. But, uh, not bad. All right, now for the packs. Let's see. First, we have score. Not what you want. What year is this? 2011 score. Not what I'm hoping for, but, you know, come on, 17. That's what we want. We want 17. Oh, there's two. There's our 2020 Leaf and our Sage High Series draft. Come on. Ooh. Oh, our third Sage. Okay. So, yeah. Two more. 2018 score. Okay. Not score isn't what I want, but hey, you still got the chance of Lamar, Baker, Josh Allen. And come on. 2017. Let me have that luck. Let me have that 2017. Hey. Okay. Weird. All three are score, but hey, 2017 score. And score, I think you usually get. No, I think. And in a couple, I don't know, I'm not sure. But we have 2011 score, 2018 score, and 2017 score. So we did get a 2017 pack, so I cannot complain. 
I would have preferred Optic Redonimus, but hey, if I can pull it, you know, a, a, a Patrick Mahomes out of that, I'm good with it. All right, let's go with the Sage Hit Premier Draft first. We have Raekwon Davis, five-star Joe Burrow, Mason Kinsey, Zach Moss, next level, next level Justin Jefferson again, five-star Joe Burrow, high school star, so this is Burrow back when he was in high school, Kaliki Hudson, and Another next level Zach Moss. Really? Do they give us the same card? Is there any difference between these two? Uh, one's red and one's not. Okay. Let's say they give us the exact same card. Two of the same in the pack, but they did not. Let's go with the Sage Football Premier Draft. This pack of. Not one to open. All right. Another Raekwon Davis. David Woodward. Carter Coughlin. Another five-star Joe Burrow. High school star. And five-star A Season for the Ages. That's actually a cool card. I dig that. I look like the what Joe's doing. Like giving the thumbs the number one sign. All right. Leaf 2020. We have a flashback Deion Sanders, Devin Duvernay, a yellow Jonathan Taylor, an All-American Draft CeeDee Lamb, and Brian Edwards. All right, let's get to the good stuff. Let's start with 2011 score. Maybe we'll get a J.J. Watt rookie. Or no, was he 2009? I think it was 2011. I can't remember. All right, we have Greg Olson, Michael Orr, Ronnie Brown, Jason Snelling, Reggie Bush, complete players, and our rookie, Evan Royster, and then Jamal Charles. All right, uh, let's go and do 2018. Oh, this... They look the same. I don't know. For whatever reason, 18 feels thicker. But they both have 12 cards. The score doesn't usually give you anything. So, Fingers crossed we hit Baker, Lamar, or Josh Allen. David Johnson. Kevin White. Demarius Thomas. Marlon Mack. Malcolm Butler. Of course, he's going to go every different direction. Ted Ginn, Dontari Poe, like a yellow parallel or gold. Color Rush, Aaron Rodgers. Draft 2018, Saquon. That's cool. I believe that's a rookie card. When Saquon drafted in 2018, I believe so. I think so, yeah. So for our rookies, we have Minka Fitzpatrick. Adam Brenneman and Dante Pettis. All right, so no 2018, but here we go. The coup de grace, we have what? Probably three rookies in here, three chances, maybe four of hitting them at homes. Uh, I mean, I know you can also hit like Lamar, or not Lamar, Leonard Fournette or uh, Christian McCaffrey, but we want that Mahomes. Eli Manning, Robert Quinn. Lamar Miller, Seth Roberts, Devontae Booker, Eric Decker. We have a Janoris Jenkins showcase numbered 33 of 99. We have a Color Rush LeGarrette Blunt. A Mike Williams draft. Here we go. Oh. Rookie red, that's a good sign. Our Darius Stewart, not a good enough sign. Another kind of red. Nope, 
It's going to be Auburn or something. Gerard Evans for Virginia Tech. And I'm stupid. It looks like the, all of them are going to be like the red. Oh, nope, it's purple. And Jordan Leggett. <sighs> Clemson. No Mahomes. No real, no luck out of the 17 or 18 packs that we got. <clears throat> but hey, in addition to the two hits we were guaranteed and the two graded cards we were guaranteed, we also hit this Ben Banigou auto and then that Mark Walton uh, jersey card, which is in the stack somewhere. So didn't hit what we wanted, but didn't really strike out either. Um, again, if I happen to see these again for 20 bucks, I mean, you have a shot at a Mahomes, a shot at, you know, Josh Allen or Baker, Lamar, whatever, uh, I'm taking it. So yeah, I still say if you happen to see these around you, Bye, bye, bye. Um, because you never know what you're going to hit. You know, it's definitely worth it. It's a fun rip. And uh, yeah, can't say enough good things about these packs. So if you see, if you happen to see them near you, check them out. Uh, but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.